We're talking today about another topic that I think is really quite interesting because a lot of people misunderstand this one. In fact, in my experience, it seems like a lot of doctors misunderstand it as well. This has to do with the common topic of what's called dyslipidemia. That means that the lipids aren't quite right in the blood. So just for the regular people listening, talking about what would normally be to is the cholesterol stuff. So that's the lipid panel. When you do a lipid panel or a cholesterol panel, you look at a few different things. So the cholesterol is divided into different particles that carry it. And so a typical lipid panel or cholesterol panel will report the total cholesterol. It will report another pound called the triglycerides. And then it will report the HDL cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol. And typically the explanation for this is that, well, the HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol is the bad cholesterol and the triglycerides are related to that. And if you add the HDL cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol and one fifth of the triglycerides together, that's usually how the total cholesterol number is reflected. So that's the standard lipid panel. The difficulty is that explaining it as good cholesterol and bad cholesterol really kind of sidesteps a major issue. And that is that the real thing that's good and bad isn't the cholesterol. In fact, the cholesterol itself is very necessary it is needed for all cell membranes and it's needed to construct myelin which is the insulation of nerve cells and cholesterol also forms the base molecule for many different hormones so to say that there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol is kind of misleading because essentially all cholesterol is good the problem is what leads to plaques on insides of arteries. And we've gotten used to the idea that, well, cholesterol is bad because it leads to these plaques. And that really isn't quite true because the thing that leads to the plaques is inflammation and oxidation of various lipids and particles and then particular types of particles actually lead to the plaques. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos at healthcare.health, H-E-L-P-C-A-R-E dot H-E-A-L-T-H, and subscribe on YouTube.